Ah, oh, a brand new day. Brand new day. Let's see, I've got 39 levels. I've got a couple sticks here. Let's go caving. Let's do some caving. Um, okay, I've got some diamonds. Let's get three of these. I'll make me a brand new pickaxe and let's do some caving. Let's see. Here, a diamond pickaxe. All right. And we've got... Oh, what? What is this? TNT? Why, why is there TNT here? What? Who did this? Oh my... Um... Um, oh no, oh no, oh my, no, no, oh no, 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 that can't happen, no, 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 oh, it was just a dream, just a dream, oh, oh, that wasn't a dream, that was a nightmare, oh man, all right, let's get some, Oh no. No, 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 no. That can't be right. No. My dream has come to life. Oh, there's no pressure plate. Alright, let's just get rid of this right now. Oh man, Royal Desmo, you really know how to give me nightmares. Ooh, let's save this TNT and I'll use it for something else. Mwahahaha. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back. You guys have spoken. I've read the comments of the last episode and you guys think you want this mountain gone. I agree. I think it would be really cool to have this cut out and make a nice looking valley with nice walkways and buildings and stuff leading all up into my own area. So that's what I'm going to do. That's not going to happen today though. I need to do some preparation work because as fun as it is to, you know, mine out all of this stuff, it does wear down my pickaxe and I do need to keep going and enchanting and using some diamonds to repair it. I have to combine it with a brand new pickaxe. It is wearing it down and I want to do something a little bit more efficient. Um, it'll destroy quite a lot of this mountain and the plan is I need to get some gunpowder, some TNT. I had a little inspirational dream last night about, it was more of a nightmare, about the destructive damage of some TNT, so uh, you guys probably saw that dream. It was a little bit terrifying, but I think I can use its power for good rather than evil. That mountain is evil, and I will use the TNT power for good. But in order to make TNT, we are going to need lots and lots of gunpowder. I, and lots of sand actually, but I do have lots of sand. That's all from helping out Royal Desmos. So I've got all this sand. Uh, I think I have more sand somewhere else. Somewhere around here I've got more sand. Maybe not. Maybe that's all the sand I have. I don't know. But uh, I could go get more sand from Royal Desmo, really. He probably still wants help clearing out that area. But other than that, I do need lots of gunpowder. I do have just about a stack, so I've got 54 gunpowder. But that's not enough gunpowder. Um, the only way to get gunpowder, uh, there's a couple ways really, is you can find it in chests, which is not really a way to get a whole lot. Uh, you can get a couple. You can also kill creepers, which yeah, you can get a little bit from that as well, but the one other thing that actually gives you gunpowder is witches, and I want to kill witches. I'm going to be a little bit smarter about this though. I've got a chest over here, and I've got some supplies that I've kind of dedicated, this is going to be to kill witches. I'm going to make a witch farm today. So uh, I'm going to go... I went into this program called A Mist, and uh, I looked around our seed, kind of uh, got an idea of what it looks like. And there is a few witch, farm, uh, witch huts that are pretty close. Um, they're a little too far to walk. Uh, it'll take too long to walk in the overworld. But I did actually go into the nether and make a tunnel. So uh, I'm going to grab some of my stuff, make sure I have everything ready for the farm. And I'll see you guys over at that hut. Alright, here's the portal to spawn. Right behind it is a tunnel going to Witch Hut 1. I just dug this a little while ago, actually, and I wanted to check on the Witch Hut, make sure that everything's okay. It is quite a little bit of a run, and I've only dug a 1x2 tunnel, so it'll take a little bit, but I'll meet you guys there. Well, here we are. Here's the Witch Hut. Uh, I'm going to check while I'm here. I'm going to just make sure and see that this entire witch hut is in a swamp biome because sometimes they will be in a river biome 
And if the witch hut is partially in another biome besides a swamp, then it won't actually spawn any witches. So I need to check. I pull out my F3 coordinates and just walk around the perimeter, swampland. It still says swampland. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. And it looks pretty good. Let me just check right over here too as well. Yep, that looks good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an outline with these stone half slabs. These are actually what I'm going to use as spawning platforms. So I'm going to make the spawning platforms right here across the witch hut. Um, I'm, I'm able to fit two of them in probably. And I'm actually going to use uh, Queen King Happy's design for the shifting floors. That really is probably the best design there is for a witch hut. Uh, it's the most efficient, so I'll get the best rates with it. It is a little more expensive because you do use uh, lots of hoppers and comparators, but uh, it'll be worth it. So let's line up these uh, the floors here for the spawning pad. All right, so I've got the spawning pads laid out. This is the outline of them. Now I've got to get this whole entire witch hut actually removed and then fill in uh, the area in between. And that's where the witches will be able to spawn in. Well, there we go, we've got the spawning platform. Now I actually have to make the shifting floors. Now, like I said, I'm using King, uh, Queen King Happy's design. And in order to do that, I need to uh, get some of these regular sized pistons. And I need to put one of them a block away, facing in like this. And the other one just needs to be right up against it. So let's go put that other one that's right up against it here. Um, so I can just go like this, I guess, and then just put one like that. All right, so that's what I'm going to need to do all the way along here. And then, let's see. I'll do one of the slices for you, and I can actually show you guys how it works and what, what, what it looks like when it's finished. All right, well, I went ahead and did one slice of it. This is what it looks like. One of the sides has these three comparators uh, there, and the other side just has the one comparators. That's just to time it just right. So whenever a mob spawns, it'll be in the tripwire, and it actually shifts the floors until it glitches through and falls. Now, it doesn't really work with uh, people, but with mobs, it, they fall through and uh, get fallen into whatever trap I want to build it underneath, which I'll get to that later. But I'm going to continue putting all of these little uh, shifting floors all along this bottom layer and top layer. And uh, after that, we should be uh, pretty much rolling to make the next part of it. Well, I've got one platform completely done, uh, but when I brought all my resources here, I didn't realize that I actually need to make two platforms, and I only brought enough stuff for one. Uh, I've got a little bit of extra stuff, but I'm, I just need to go back to the house. I'm pretty sure I do have enough materials for a second one, but uh, as you see, when I run across, it activates all of them. I don't want to get in there and get stuck, though. But uh, yeah, so the witches will spawn in, they'll, get, they'll uh, basically activate the tripwire, and they'll fall through the floor into whatever killing mechanism that I'm going to put right here. And I have an idea of what I can do. Um, one of the ideas uh, that I could do is actually just a hole that drops them far enough so that they just die instantly. But then I have to have a lot and a lot of hoppers, and I don't have enough resources to do that right now. So I've got a better idea for that, and I'll show you guys that when it comes to it. Uh, but right now I need to go back to the house and actually get more resources for this. So uh, let's make a run back over. Well, the witch farm really is starting to take shape. I finished the second layer. The only thing that I'm needing to do is actually put in the string to make it go, uh, but I don't want to put that in yet because I'm actually working on making a, an umbrella above the entire thing. So I'm kind of outlining it how I want to make it. Oh, geez. Uh, I'm outlining how I need to make it in order to make it so that all the witches can spawn in on all the platforms. Uh, so that it'll work during the day because right now during the day it's too bright and uh, they're not able to spawn because of the light level but I'm trying to make it wide enough so that uh, it'll be light level 7 or lower inside of here so I basically looked over the top of the, the spawning platform so say I'm standing right here where this gap is it's actually a spawn platform so this block I'm on is a spawning platform underneath down there um, so I'm gonna go seven away or actually I'm, I'm gonna need to go eight away uh, so this will be the eighth so eight seven six five four three two one um, so hopefully light level will be 15 right here 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 and then right 
oh yeah so right here it'll be about seven so that's kind of how I'm doing it. it I know that doesn't really make too much sense but uh, hopefully I can get this all set up and then when this is over the top I'll go underneath and then I'll hit F3 look at the BL value and if it is light level uh, Z, uh, 7 or lower then we should be all set uh, so let's go ahead and finish this up and then I can show you guys uh, how we're going to do the killing mechanism alrighty everybody welcome welcome back I've got a little status update for you guys I did finish the entire umbrella over the top so that should keep out any of the light so that I can have spawns during the day um, I may need to make it bigger I'm not entirely sure we'll see how this works I may even do a, a little curtain over the sides with water to keep it uh, dark as well but as far as everything else though goes though, the shifting floors are done. I do need to put tripwire up above though, but that's not too hard. I do have this enough string in there. I just haven't done it yet. And then I've got some torches right now so there aren't any spawns in. Uh, but the reason that I filled this in right here, this took a little while for me to do. I filled this all in and got rid of the water. There's still some water over there, but I'm not worried about that right now. Uh, but I did fill all of this in and dug it out. Uh, and I made this room right down inside of here. So what I'm going to do is in order to kill the witch I'm gonna use a fall uh, a falling type Drop, I don't know how, to, <laughs> how you'd say it, but the water is going to push them along This wall and they're gonna come towards here and drop so this is eight blocks wide as you see here and the spawning platforms are actually seven by nine so going this direction, there's nine blocks, and this is seven wide, side to side. Well, actually, this room is eight wide because there is actually this one uh, gap right here from the shifting floors. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put water along this back wall, and it'll push them all to right to this edge, and then they'll drop straight down. I won't even need to use signs because it's eight blocks long. And then there's actually one floor right above here. These guys will just drop straight down. I don't have to worry about resetting their fall or anything uh, because I'm going to make it tall enough in order to kill them. And in order to kill a witch by falling, it's a little bit longer than uh, it would take to kill a creeper or a skeleton. Uh, it takes 29 blocks. I tested it in creative. It's 29 blocks, not 23. So I need to go five blocks deeper than that. Now I've got two blocks right here of a drop already. If I pull up my F3, we're at Y58. So I'm going to need to go down uh, 27 more blocks, and I'm going to need to be at Y31. So that's what I'm going to do for all this entire ridge, and then at the bottom of that, we'll put a line of hoppers uh, to collect all of the drops. So I'll do that right now. All right, so I've gotten it finished, and right here we are at Y equals 60. Now if we go down to the bottom, you can see it's a pretty big drop. If I drop down here and grab onto the ladder, we'll see what uh, level it's at down here. And it needs to be at 31 to be a 29 block drop. And there it is, Y31. So they'll land on the hoppers and just instantly die. I've got them all pointing towards this direction. And now I will do some fancy stuff right over here in a little bit. But that will be good for now. I can actually turn it on. I, I don't think we'll get very many spawns right now because we haven't actually spawn proofed the entire area now I don't think I'm gonna do a perimeter what I'm actually going to do when I'm gonna wait for these witches to spawn is I'm going to build a place way up in the sky so that the tip of the ground that's loaded is just this witch farm nowhere else is really loaded just the witch farm that's directly beneath me and so I'll only get spawns down here and that should increase the spawn rate really well um, let me just double check everything. I think we should be good. So let me get um, I'm gonna get one block of ice and then I can just use ice and water to actually melt this and some ice somewhere. There we go. So there we go. I'll use the ice and a water bucket and we will get this going. So if I put a water bucket right there, I can actually do an ice right there. And now I've got an infinite source. So let's fill all of this in, make sure everything's looking fine. Alright, and it goes right to the edge. None of the water actually hangs over. So all of the witches that spawn should fall directly down into here. I've got lights down there. It doesn't really matter if anything spawns down there. Well, actually, I'd prefer nothing to do spawn down there is what I'm saying. So they should land on here, and yep, I've got a few things right there. So yeah, that'll work just fine. Now what I want to do is I want to 
try out the actual farm, see if it works. I can come back and get some drops later on. But I want to remove the torches and actually put the last little bit of tripwire onto the top layer. And then I'm going to pillar up about 120 blocks or so above the farm. And so then there's not a lot of spawns except for right down here. That's where all of them should be spawning. So I'm going to try that and uh, I'll check back with you guys in a minute once I get everything set up. Alright, so I got the tripwire up on the top layer and I also put some railing so that it's going to hold them in. As you can see, I got this glass all along here as well. But I've got this uh, line of half slabs on each side on the top and bottom layer. Uh, that's just to make sure that all of the witches that spawn will stay inside of the farm area. And, you know, the, the things will keep moving and trying to knock them down uh, as long as they're still in that area. So this is going to keep them in no matter what. They really don't have any kind of way to get out. I guess the only way really would be if they were on the top layer and dropped through into the second layer. Hmm. Maybe I'll do a line of uh, half slabs up there. But now what I'm going to do, uh, just to test it out, is I'm actually going to pillar up about 120 blocks or so. Uh, so I've got all of this, and I do... Oh, I should probably make a bunch more ladders. Alright, I'll make a bunch more ladders real quick. Alright, so I just made a bunch more ladders, and I've got my stacks of dirt. And then I also just barely did that little thing I was talking about. So they're not going to be able to get out of this farm at all now. It's completely... Uh, you know witch proof so I'm gonna pillar up just right here since it's pretty close to here and uh, I'm gonna go up about 120 blocks or so maybe a little bit less like 110 blocks uh, just so that I'm to make sure I'm close enough to the spawner or to the witch farm so that it will spawn any but uh, I can't really the thing with this umbrella thing that I made is I can't really see if they're spawning or not so I just have to kind of hope that they are hmm well at least I'm kind of by a river when I'm done with this I can just jump down so let's hurry up and just speed this up. I'll see you guys at the top. All right, so I'm at the top of the witch farm, and I didn't go quite to 120. I went to about 100 blocks above or so. Um, you can only spawn any kind of mobs around you in a 120 block radius. Past that, they don't spawn. So this way, it gets rid of any of the caves and everything that other mobs can be spawning in, and it'll just allow the witches right here to spawn. So that way, I don't have to go through and make sure that all the caves are lit up or anything I can just come up here and then wait and then go back down so I'm gonna test this for about five minutes or so and I'm gonna go down after that times up and then just check the hoppers that are down there if there are any witch spawns actually in it uh, then I'll see you know some bottles some gunpowder glowstone redstone all kinds of good stuff in there so we'll check and see how this works and it's getting dark so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Probably not so much a good thing because mobs will be spawning out around here. Oh well. We'll check and see in a bit. Well, I've been up here for about five minutes or so. It's about midnight and I'm going to just drop down and I'm going to sleep just to get rid of any of the monsters that might be around here, including the slimes that are right there. And, yep, I see there's a lot of monsters around. Let's try and hurry and sleep. Alright, so I'm going to go down here and check and see if we actually got any spawns. Oh, we got some dudes chasing us here. That's alright. So if there is any kind of witch drop inside this hopper right here, then that means it was successful. Uh, it doesn't look like we got anything. Wow. Nothing. Hmm. I think I've done something wrong. Well, after thinking about it, I think the reason that I'm not actually getting very much spawns is just because of all of this area that's up here. There can be spawns all over here too, so it's really limiting the spawn rate inside this witch hut, even if I'm way up there. So I did wait up there for a few more minutes, and uh, I did actually get a little bit of spawns, just a little bit of witch drops, so you can see redstone, gunpowder, and sugar. So it is working, I, I just need to make it more efficient. So what I did is I actually brought my beacon over, and I'm going to put the haste 2 on it and just dig out a whole bunch of area, cover it in water, so that nothing can really spawn on the surface. Now there are caves underneath, which I'm going to worry about doing those later on, but right now I just want to completely wipe out the surface spawning area. Uh, I need to set this beacon to haste 2, so let's go ahead and do that really quick here. Put an iron, I need to hit haste, and haste 2, done. Alright, so that's going to give me haste 2 in a minute and there we go so I've got haste 2 and I've got my diamond shovel 
and my diamond pickaxe. Let's get going to town here. Let's uh, see. One other thing, though, uh, that I wanted to do as well is it seems like there is still a little bit of light along these edges, and I didn't really realize it, but you can't actually see the number value of skylight. If I open up my F3 coordinates, the BL value is 8. That's because it's that's how far away it is from a torch. It goes up if I go closer to a torch. But it doesn't actually tell you what the skylight value is. So this isn't completely uh, dark enough for witches to spawn all the way through it. So I'm going to try doing a water curtain. If that still doesn't work, if I think that it's still too bright inside, then I'll probably extend this umbrella. But let's try and make a water curtain here. Well, it's going pretty good. I've got a little infinite water source right here. So I'm going around the entire side and then putting a source block of water right on the edge. It actually extends it out too, so I'm hoping that gives some good uh, blockage to the light. Uh, I hear that water actually blocks out a lot of the light, so I'm hoping this will work and increase the spawn rates really well. And on top of that, I do want to clear out a lot of this area just real close. that's real close to the witch. Uh, hut as well as I want to go inside some of the caves that are underneath it and make sure that they're all lit up Make sure that there's nowhere else for any kind of other monster to spawn in that way It'll increase the rates and any kind of monster that needs to spawn It'll just basically the game will choose to spawn a witch So that's what I'm hoping so that we can get a whole bunch of spawns here uh, But it'll be a lot of work So I'm probably just gonna keep doing this and just get, kind of give you guys an update we are getting pretty far into the episode, so I'm not sure how much I'll be able to get done in this episode, but I'll try and get as much as I can on camera for you guys uh, to give you a good little update and hopefully get this thing up and going. Alright, got it just about done. There's like two more water sources I have to do, and then this will be completely done. So let's see here. Alright, now let's get back here a little bit and take a look. I'm going to get rid of this as well, probably in the way a little bit. All right, there we go. Now let's take a look. Yeah, that looks like pretty good. Um, doesn't look like there's any problems with the water, except for where it's landing, it's kind of going everywhere. But that's because I haven't shaped the ground. This whole ground's gonna actually be water. And also I moved the portal. It used to be in one of these trees, I cut down them, but the portal's up there. So whenever I come to the witch farm, I actually just end up there because that's kind of what I'm gonna want in the future. Then I've got my little workstation right here. Yeah, that looks like it's doing pretty well. Um, I wonder if I can check the value of the light at all. Hmm, doesn't really have a way to see because that's just from the torches that are down in there. I don't know, but it does look really dark inside of here, so that's something that's pretty good. I'm going to get rid of this torch that's down in here, though. I think that's actually shining up a little too far. Oh, and by the way, I did make this little drop thing down here. Just just because I wanted to move the ladder that was right here, there was actually a witch that was down here, and I think it got stuck on the ladder. And on top of that, though, I did move this down just a few blocks just to be safe. It used to be about at this level, but I moved it down about three just to be safe that it kills all of them. So, yeah, let's head up to the top, and then I'll get to work on making uh, clearing out a whole bunch of the area and filling it with water. Yeah, this is looking a lot darker. Now, if I look at the RL value, I think that actually stands for real light, maybe, or something like that, but it seems like that goes with the, the natural light. So if I go outside, it's 15. Same with the SL. So I'm not sure what the SL is, but uh, it's 15 out here, and when I go in there, it's like three or four. So it's looking pretty good. It's plenty dark. I'm sure witches can spawn on all parts of the platform now, so that's good. I just have to clear out a whole lot of this area. All right, well, I've cleared kind of a lot of stuff. This has taken me about an hour or so, I would guess, maybe not quite an hour. And then I just threw down a whole bunch of torches all over here to stop them from spawning. I did go through a little bit of the caves as well and lighted up a whole bunch, but it seems like it is working a little bit better. Uh, every once in a while, like I see one of the witches spawn and go through, so that's good. I did also light up that island, and there was an island over on that side that I actually took out. But it's going pretty good. If I actually go up to the top of there, I'm sure the rates would be a whole lot better. So I'm going to try that out and see how it goes. All right, well, I'm up here, and it seems like my frame rate's a little bit laggy. I'm thinking it's all of the torches that are out there. So I definitely don't want to use torches to get rid of all the spawning area. Because if I look over there and I look over here, the frame rate drops a little bit. 
So, but if I'm looking up around here, away from the torches, then there isn't really any kind of frame rate problems. So yeah, it's when I'm looking at the torches. So I am gonna wanna make a nice perimeter type thing of water just around here. I'm not gonna make it huge because when I'm actually waiting for the witches to spawn, I'm gonna be up on the top of here. Uh, so a lot of the area out there won't even be within range to spawn other monsters. But looking down here, I just remembered, I still have that uh, water source right there, the infinite water source. So I wanna get rid of that and I'm gonna try and jump into it. Hopefully I can make it. Here we go. Oh jeez. Oh yeah. Oh wow. I just dropped down and I could definitely hear there were a whole bunch of pistons moving around and stuff. So sounds like it was working really well. Let's go check it out. See, see how many drops we've got. I can hear a lot of spiders and slimes going on around here. I'm not sure where that is, but all right, let's check here. Okay, so it's working a little bit. Um, oh, what? Okay, I think there's actually spiders and slimes and other things that can spawn inside my place. That's weird, I thought that only... Huh. As far as I know, I thought that only, um... Only witches could spawn in a witch hut area. But I guess not, they were actually spawning in here, so... I need to try and get inside of there. How, how do I do that? How am I gonna get in? Um, I could go right here. All right, I have no idea how these guys were getting in here, but uh, I think I well, I think I have an idea actually of how it happened. All right, those guys will just get rid of themselves, and I'll just get some free slime balls, I guess. But I think when the floors actually shift over to that side, there's a split second that it allows other mobs to spawn. That's what I'm guessing, so I'm gonna try and actually cover that entire line with glass so that nothing else can spawn when it's over there. So, let's see. I'm gonna go like this, and I don't have my other block, it actually fell down, so that's alright. Um, let's grab some glass real quick and try this out. Alright, so this is what I was talking about. When the floor shifts, let me show you that right now. There. The floor is right in front of me, and that's actually not inside the witch hut, so it allows other monsters to spawn. So I'm going to try going like this, so that when it shifts, it doesn't allow anything else in there uh, to spawn. So this glass will kind of be in the way. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Hmm. Would that work? Yeah, I think it should work. Hopefully. Hopefully. Let's try it out on this side as well. Alright, so there's glass blocking the entire way up, so nothing should be able to spawn in there unless something can actually spawn inside glass, which I know iron golems actually can do that if they're going to spawn somewhere, um, but I don't know if other mobs can naturally spawn in inside of glass. So I'm going to try it again, see if anything will get stuck. Uh, so I'll go up to the top, wait a little bit for the monsters to come in, and uh, jump, jump back down and see how it goes. Let's see where's the light at. Alright, so the sun's just coming up, so we'll have some time in the day. That's the best time to do this, because then the monsters can't spawn as well underneath and around the sides and stuff. Well, I've been waiting here for about a minute or so. I'm just going to drop down and see if I do have any more drops, and if there's any kind of mobs that are stuck inside. Okay, so we had a skeleton that actually spawned in there. And where did he actually come from? Okay, so the skeleton actually spawned on this one single half slab that was right here. So let's make sure to get rid of that, and I want to check and make sure there's no other ones just like that. So over there, it looks like it's all set. I don't know why that one was right there, but I got that one removed. Uh, let's drop down here, I guess. Let's see if there's anything inside of here. And there's nothing. All right. So, let's close this off again. Let's use my cobble and my stone brick, and let's drop down and see what we got. Alright, so looking at this, it does look like we got a few more witch spawns. So that's good, I'm going to bring all this stuff out so I know I have an empty chest for next time. But this thing is working, I do need to do a whole lot more work on making everywhere else uh, unspawnable so that we only get witch spawns around here. But I'll do that off camera between this episode and next. Uh, so hopefully we can get this up and running really powerful, but it is working as of right now. So it is somewhat officially finished. Uh, now it's just about getting it mainly uh, a lot more 
spawn proof so that we can get it way more efficient. So I'm going to work on that off camera. Uh, before we go though, I wanted to show you guys some, uh, just a few changes I did on the spider farm from last episode. Uh, right after I finished the episode, I went and I actually found a way to fix it. So I'll switch over to that, show you guys it, and that'll basically be the end of the episode. Alright, so here we're heading down to the spider spawner. Uh, right here, I did put a sign right here, stand here, both spawners will activate. I've got the button, and I did change it around to glass. Uh, so that's a little change that I did, but mainly, uh, so if you drop down here, you can see I actually made this four blocks wide. This fixed the problem I was having with them getting stuck, stuck, direct, stuck right next to each other. Wow, I cannot talk whenever I buy the spider spawner. That's what it is, the spider spawner it causes me not to talk. So I've got this whole wall, and it's just uh, trap doors on, on the side of blocks. So they're not able to get stuck at all. They just get through, and they basically fall down and suffocate. So that's how that works. And let's see, if I stand inside of here and we get any more that spawn, you can see there's no problem. They just get right into that spot and get sucked in. We can go ahead and check how much I've got. I did pull out about six or eight stacks of string, but uh, I do have a little more string in here and I've got a little more in here. So it is working really well. I have no need to get string right now. Uh, except for when I decide to actually make an enderman farm, but that's gonna be a little while until I make one of those I mainly wanted some string for the witch farm. So that's gonna be it for this episode guys I really hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, I've been this is the first time I've ever made a witch farm So it's kind of experimental uh, So I'll probably do a little bit of research between now and the next episode But I want to get it up and running at least somewhat so I can start getting some gunpowder and uh and a whole bunch of redstone really uh, but mainly I want some gunpowder for blowing up my mountain so that's it for this episode make sure you guys hit the like button if you did enjoy it and if you're not already subscribed go ahead and subscribe while you're here before you uh, leave the video uh, that way you don't miss my next episode when I come out with it and go ahead and check out Royal Desmos Let's Play uh, he's not on right now it's uh, actually a Sunday while I'm recording this stuff so. I think he's off with his family doing all kinds of fun stuff, but uh, I will see you guys next episode. Hopefully I can get a lot done between now and then, but uh, yeah, that's going to be it. So have a great day, everybody. Peace.